of the U.S. national team. We both play together up in Seattle. And uh, we're just here to chit chat with you guys. Two ladies from the U.S. soccer team came in, and it was just nice to sit down and talk to a couple other professional women. Very sort of informal, so let's throw out questions if you guys want. Or I've played sports all my life, and I've actually watched UFC for a while. Um, but to get to actually meet the athletes, it's great. What's the biggest adversity you have to overcome as being a woman in a professional sport? Um, I think for women, it's just honestly getting the majority of people to buy in and to watch, you know? Like, dads will come to the game or, you know, whatever, and they'll be like, oh, yeah, I found my daughter, but you guys are actually really good. And I'm like, that's actually offensive. Like, <laughs> oh, surprise, you're amazing. I'm sure you guys get the same thing. Being a female athlete is tough. Um, it was really cool to see that there's so many things similar and the things that we struggle with and training and family um, and just being a female professional athlete. But, like, the, the guts and, like, the love of it um, is really, like, coming out in these girls. I want to put you on the spot. You guys follow on with me. I do, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, I like it. I have, like, so much respect for you guys, too, because I know every time I try to even, like, wrestle with someone, I'm like, <laughs> you know, and then you just, like, I, like gas out in two seconds. I think that you guys are, like, the most fit athletes. It's crazy to be able to be that fit and then to have the technical skill set and then to actually, like, fight with that as well. I would be a terrible fighter because I would get angry. And that's what they say. You, like, can't fight angry. Get one of these. I would get so mad. <laughs> You'd be a runner. She'd be yeah. a runner. <laughs> quite a bit of UFC and you don't think I have like the stamina or the muscle power or or the strength to do it. I know a little bit. I'm trying to try to get someone in a hold or something. Yeah, yeah. I, know, I know. Yeah. Soccer play is always like really hard kicking. So we're good. Like, uh, okay, I'll try. The girls from the soccer team were awesome. They were down to just try some stuff here. Yeah, they just all the way back and then you go ear to ear and squeeze in. And they just go like this? Mm-hmm. Squeeze ear to ear. Yeah, wait. <laughs> I actually learned that move before, so uh, doing the little choke hold was, was fun. Turn your uh, shoulders first and then your hips come up. Just like that. Swing the arm. Okay, well, let's hurry. Don't, don't hold back. changing professions after after the season's over. What do you guys seated in the in this World Cup? Or do, is there a seed for you guys? Or? Right now. Because right now we're number one. Right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Keep that going. Well, you guys gonna watch this next summer at least. Yeah. Yes. yeah. It should be exciting. It's on it's on Fox, so I think everybody gets that channel if you have a TV. We loved the interaction we had with the fighters. Thank you guys for, yeah. for having yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. Love to sit here today. Being here for them is very hard. You know, they don't have a phone, they don't really know what's going on outside. And, you know, I feel like that's very similar for when we go to different countries, and it's very hard to keep yourself sane.